Pro, a Pro Jupiter team finally released filters. I'm very, very excited to use this. Uh, we're on the Hunt Gems page here, and we're just going to go through the filters. Not just me, but people much smarter than me use to hopefully catch the next runner of the day. I know a lot of you guys saw Unicorn, Fart Dust, and Mystic. And uh, ideally, if we set these filters the right way, we can set this up so that we kind of filter out all the bullshit and then keep all the good shit in. So for new, here are the filters that I use and why. To start off, uh, the reason why I put this to like 5,000 is just to mark out all the like just straight bullshit. There are thousands of thousands of tokens launched every single day, hundreds every hour. If you keep this at zero, you will see the most stupid shit ever. So you don't want to start at zero. I would start at 5,000, even like 10,000, I would say. And just to make sure that you have something that has somewhat momentum in it. So you're not just looking at bullshit. 24 hour volume, I don't really set this because these are really, really new still. So you don't really need to set volume. I don't think so. Bonding curve is actually really good. You could set this to 10% or 20%. If you do this though, take out the market cap. So if you're using bonding percent instead, which a lot of people use, you could put minimum 30%, meaning around 30 to 40K, which I think is a great idea. Dev launch mints, you could do this as well. But with wallet uh, bifurcation and all this other stuff, most of the time devs just start with a new wallet. It's not really all the time going to be that useful. 24 hour transactions. I've seen some people do 10, 20, 30 of these. I would do like 15. I think it's important that there isn't just one big buyer buying like 15 soul worth that sends it to, you know, 20, 30K market cap because that sucks. It's not good for you. Uh, 24 hour buy, same thing. You could do the same as transactions. Sales, that's up to you as well. Liquidity doesn't really matter here because of how new it is. Token age, I actually use this. I would say minimum or maximum should be 120, two hours long. The reason why we don't do minimum is because, of course, these are new tokens. It doesn't really count. And the reason why I do maximum of two hours is because sometimes, <laughs> well, a lot of times, farmers, the cabal, whatever you want to call them, they'll find an old pump fund from two, three hours ago, or they create five new ones. And they just pump that same shit up to like 110K. They farm the fuck out of people and they just rinse and repeat this. I like to do not super old tokens so that we know that these are new ones coming from new news. Because the chances of you catching like the next Popcat probably isn't that high. But the chance of you catching the next runner of, you know, an AI meta or an existing frog meta or a news meta, those are much higher. And now that we put these in, you can see market cap, we did like 30, 40% is 40K, 60K, 17K, 12K, not zero. Zero is not what you want. And a lot of these tokens I've seen like 20, 30 times before. So even with these filters, you still, of course, have to use your mind. But let's say that with these filters, you could filter out like 10 to 20% of bullshit. There's a big percentage of stuff that you now no longer have to put mind share towards. So make sure that you use these filters here. That being said, let's talk about filters for graduating. So top 10 holders holding less than 15%. I don't turn this on. I mean, it's just not likely that that's true. A lot of the tokens that even run, like even Unicorn, Fart Dust, the most recent one, uh, even ARK or these other ones, they had like top 20, 25, 30%. And then ideally, best case scenario is that over time, it gets lower and lower. I don't turn this on. I think I kind of see 50, 60K as the halfway mark. And I, you could just do 50% bonding. I just do 60K. It's up to you. It's kind of the same thing. Volume, you could put metrics here. I, I used to put like 10K, 15K, but sometimes you just miss out on good ones because it's kind of hard to dictate whether or not something will have that like volume cycle in there it's much more likely that sometimes you know something just hits really really quickly and that volume isn't as high as it was before especially if we use the token age like max minutes so that's important as well but here i just use 60k no need to do anything crazy or if you can just put 50 60 percent but for this one let's do 60 percent token age again 120 save all so now we see that ideally hopefully there's a lot less stupid shit to show up here even here we have chill guy xrp so even with all these filters you still of course like i said have to use your brain and then now in graduated. So the way that I look at graduated is a bit different. It's either really smart or really stupid. For market cap, I do minimum of 120K. So I don't want to look at stuff that graduated, then dumped to 40K, and then hopefully goes back up to 200K. I like to look at market cap from 120K to like or 400K. Something like that. You know, like to a percentage where you know it's not going to die in the next five minutes is important. And it's not going to, you know, explode. And if it does, you're there to watch it explode within the next 20, 25 minutes. But I don't care about a token that graduated then just dies instantly. So I like to keep this above graduation. Volume here is still kind of hard. It's still less than like a milli, two milli at max. So you don't really need to put anything here. And if a token is at like 200k market cap and has $5 million in volume, it's most likely being farmed. So you probably shouldn't be in that anyways. And then here, I wish there was holders. Ideally, they're going to add that later, which is very important. But holders is important as well, because then you get to dictate how well distributed it is. And then here is something you could use top 10 holders. Ideally, the snipers are out by then, early insiders, bubble bar out by then. But even then, it still doesn't happen like that. But uh, token age again, for here, I would do like 60 minutes. I think it should be less. I think like in the beginning, sometimes old pump funds really run because if a news comes out and there's the oldest one, people go to that. Or if something happens and they look for the oldest version of it, people go to that. But here, when I'm looking at these two different filters, 
I really only care that I don't buy something that is going to be dead in two minutes. And I buy something that I know will probably be at least 200% higher in the next like 20, 30 minutes. So with these filters, the whole point is to filter out these exact nonsense bullshit like Potter that you see here that you definitely wouldn't buy from these thousands of coins that are launched every single day. And then ideally using objective metrics, you can find good coins that at least you can get a 2x, 3x out of and that won't be dead in five minutes. So hope this helps.